Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another reaction video for today and I'm here to take a look at the teaser trailer for Days of Sodom, which is a Crow fan film. Uh, this is from Wet Paint Pictures, of course, makers of Voorhees. Uh, shout outs, I've covered uh, their stuff in the past quite a bit. Um, and, uh, yeah, yeah, I love the crow. So when I heard they were doing this, I was like, yeah, buddy. So we're going to take a look at this teaser. Let's get to it. Let's check this out. It will look better than the reboot. Probably. I mean, I, that's the thing. I didn't even think the trailer was that, like bad at all. Actually, I thought it was fine. I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah, hey, we'll see. Uh, will it touch the original? I don't know. Probably not. I mean, it did get delayed a couple months. So anyway, uh, let's check this out. Let's go. Let's check it out now. Three, two, one. Wait, hold on. Three, two, one, play. All right, just making sure. No. They say no one but God has ever come back from the grave. No, that's not true. I, I've been back. I came back from the dead. Last night. For reasons I'm not to me. Okay. I'm big. Love was greater than such. Okay. Everything was a fog. The wife died in her fear. Oh, okay. Please detect it. Getting a very Rorschach vibe from this narration. Ow. Yo, you're dripping your blood all over the place, bro. What are you doing? Oh, I like that you can see, like, the. It looked like a. Almost like gunshot in the. Uh, Mirror right where his head was, right there. Okay. I think it was just someone punching it, though. Tonight. Nark! <laughs> Alright, so you got caught. Makeup looks pretty good. I've seen the makeup before, though, by the way, I should say. I do follow the, uh. The, uh, Facebook group. Alright, cool. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Following a representation of the Darley Worker fan fiction, no way, no no way, 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 when you get something that looks like that, you gotta you gotta go like, whoa, okay. So the effects look pretty good. You know, what? I I I. It rem the lo the look of it reminded me kind of like a um I don't want to say Sin City I guess Sin City uh, Sin City obviously was more black and white um uh but more like stylistic kind of like maybe even like a Snyder kind of thing um or even like David uh what's his name Prowess is that his name the director of the original The Crow if anybody saw Dark City kind of like that too um. Narration was pretty good. I like that. And the music sounds very much what you would expect from the crow. I was, I think that was a good teaser. I liked it. I liked it a lot, actually. I think uh, film, film. I mean, like the the look of it. And I actually think I like this premise of him being a cop that was. Wait, here we go. We can read this, actually. Baltimore police confirmed this afternoon that Thorne Gray, 31, a homicide detective with the department, and his wife, Carolyn Gray, 33, both died late yesterday. Details have not yet been released, but unconfirmed reports indicate that the deaths may be related to the upcoming BPD corruption trial involving four officers that Detective Gray was scheduled to testify in this morning. Okay. Mark Mills, a neighbor to the Grays, reported seeing an unfamiliar black man Parked on the street. Yeah, it's going to get too dark to read. Uh, yesterday before hearing a... Something. Hold on. Let me see if it gets brighter at any point. Oh, I did right there, actually. Hold on. Yeah, like the... the... Oh, yeah, there you go. Perfect. Thank you. A uh, single shot at around 5.45 p.m. He phoned police who later found the bodies of Mr. and Mrs. Gray in the residence. Okay, so it's probably going to open in a very similar shot to the original The Crow. Or they're already kind of dead. Well, you, you see a little flashes of... I mean, these are two different characters. I think if you're going to do something The Crow related, I feel like leave Dra like Eric Draven's story. That's why I thought it was so strange that they decided to... Like, it's it's a... Re it's, a it's their own... I'm talking about the new movie. Um, It's their own thing, but it's going to be more based on the, com the original comic. But no offense to the original comic. I, the movie is 
it's just way more popular. Like, I feel like you need to either take from the comic and also take from the original source. I mean, the original movie. It's not the original source. I know that. Um, and like meld the two if you really want to make a new Crow movie. Because people are only going to think about the Brendan Lee movie. And it's just... I, it, it, the movie did well when it first came out, and it and and like people remember the crow, the first movie. They don't think about any of uh, the other ones. Suck balls, but um, I don't know. It's it's weird. Yeah, that's a discussion for another time. Anyway, this looks really good. Uh, I'm I'm excited for it, especially if it's gonna be uh, it comes out next year. Oh, there's an Indiegogo link by the way. So link uh, by the way, a link in the description. And it has a really good cast. Cody, of course, Cody Falk. Um, uh, but of course, uh, you have a bunch of other people in here. Some some pretty big names mickey james from wwe like e and stuff like uh vernon wells who was a uh, uh oh my god isn't he like he's uh, fuck i know he's in mad max 2 he's um i think his name was wes but i want to say he plays somebody in power rangers fuck, i forgot who um and i want to say some of these other people are like ck steel i think I, I know maven huffman is that maven from wwe also wait hold on Yeah, <laughs> it's, oh, uh, uh, I didn't know he was cast. I must have missed that one. Um, okay. I, I saw Mickey James. They, they talked about that recently. I, I must have missed the Maven one because Maven has his own YouTube channel also. Um, and I, I remember Maven mo mostly from when he eliminated The Undertaker at uh, the Royal Rumble in 2002. <laughs> one maybe and then uh undertaker to just beat his ass he stomped a mud hole in his ass as they would say back in the day um <laughs> he, he did throw him through like a like a like, i want to they fought they they it, he beat his ass through an arcade i remember and i think he threw him into like one of those crane machines or something like that that's what i remember i haven't seen that royal rumble in fucking forever anyway that was a great teaser i i actually really do think it was a great te teaser it, it, it like you it, very well done. So there you go. That's it. That's Days of Sodom, a Crow fan film, a teaser trailer. Uh, link in the description. Uh, go support the uh, Indiegogo. And that's it. You hear that? Airplane. I live near an airplane. Uh, a airport. <laughs> Whatever. Bye.